Let's take a closer look at some of the Star Wars Unlimited officially licensed gameplay accessories by GameGenic. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the fabulous range of officially licensed Star Wars accessories for the new TCG Star Wars Unlimited. This range is by GameGenic and features a whole host of really cool things to really accentuate your gameplay. Of course you don't really need any of these items but we are Star Wars collectors and we just want to really take care of our cards so there's a whole host of ways that you can do that. So from the official line, which includes a variety of products, we picked out two soft boxes, a gameplay mat, some shiny acrylic tokens, and two different sleeve packs here. So I'm going to take a look at each one individually and sort of show how it works with the cards and things like that. But I'm going to start out with that game map because I really want to see that vibrant TIE Fighter art spread out on the desk. So I'm just going to get the rest of these pieces out of the way and we'll take a look at each one of them in turn. Okay, so the first product I'm going to take a closer look at is the game mat. There were a few designs to choose from, but we decided we liked the TIE Fighter for our first one. Because I get the feeling we're going to want one each pretty soon, but I wanted to get a sense for the quality and the size before we sort of jumped in and bought multiples here. So you can see the full graphic there of the TIE Fighter. I just think that looks really, really cool. And we have the sizes here in both sort of measurement systems. We have 61 by 35 centimeters or 24 inches by 13 and 3 quarter inches. We have those measurements again here on the side with the uh, print there, some care instructions should you get your game mat grubby. And then we see it says perfect for all Star Wars fans for Star Wars Unlimited and a vast variety of different games. Softly cushioned game mat with comfortable thickness of two millimeters, ultra fine surface provides safe environment for cards and accessories, anti-slip backside made from natural rubber. So lots of features there. And again, we've got it in sort of different languages down the back there. And a little bit more of that awesome TIE Fighter graphic there on the side. So really cool okay it's time to open it up i'm really excited don't actually have too many game mats got some really large mouse pads that we use sometimes but there hasn't really been ones that have really sort of caught my attention until i saw this one and we're quite keen to get a hold of that big xl two player one i think that could be really fun oh liking the feel of that already Okay, let's see how big this looks. I'm not sure if I can get the whole thing in frame. Let's see. I'll just get the box out of the way for now. Okay, wow. We can see. Oh, look at those colors. I was particularly struck by the purple. I think that that looks really pretty. Sort of a bit of a galaxy print here. I like the motion. It's like slightly sort of got those movement lines around the outside, but then the TIE Fighter in the middle looks amazing with those green blasts there we have the star wars unlimited logo printed there and we have the sort of black sort of anti-slip texture there on the back of it as well so i do notice that the uh sort of the edges i uh, don't have any kind of i know some of them sort of have like an overlocking or stitching around the edges um, i know it's kind of a personal preference Sometimes I find that kind of irritates like on my wrists and stuff like that. I know some people like it because perhaps over time with wear and tear, this top layer can split off on some products. So I guess we'll give this one a real good play and see how it holds up over time. But I really like this. This is like a nice good size, not too big. As you can see, it fits on my on my table really nicely here. And I've actually got a couple of cards just to kind of give you a little bit of a sense of scale. So if I was like, you know, putting out my cards, I've got lots of space here to do so. So I really like that. And it feels really nice moving a card around it. Really nice way to, you know, just make sure you're not roughing up your cards too much. So that looks really cool. I'm really happy with that. Okay, I guess I'm going to be hitting up my local game store to pick up another one of these so my husband and I can have one each because now that I've got an in-person view of it, 
now I want one for myself because my husband likes the Imperial characters. We thought the TIE Fighter would be a really cool one for him. So I guess I'm going back for the X-Wing one. This is really cool. Okay, let's move on to the soft boxes next. The next accessory I have here is the Star Wars Unlimited Soft Crate by Game Genic. Of course, I keep calling them soft boxes, but they are called soft crate. I call them boxes because that's essentially what they are. I chose the X-Wing one and my husband chose Darth Vader. We've already opened up a full booster box, so we have lots of cards looking for a safe and secure home. So we thought that this would be a fun starting point. We can see that they have a token box included. We can see that they have lots of selling features there. It's supposed to fit 60 cards in double sleeves. Perfect for Star Wars Unlimited and other card games. It comes with a token box. We've got a self-locking lid with a write-on strip. We can open the top flap there for easy access and acid-free, no PVC, strong welding points. That's great to see for storing your precious cards. We have that information there in different languages. And then on the other side, we have these cool little graphics here showing some of those features in a bit more visual format. And we really get a sense of the art on all sides of the box there. And we can see the little token box there as well. So I'm really excited to get stuck in and open one of these up. I'm going to go in with the X-Wing one first because this one is going to be mine. So let's see. We can get this out. Oh, that looks really cool. That is really neat art. Wow, that almost looks like... Wow, you have to really look up close. It almost looks like, like a photo of like a studio scale model or something. But then you, when you really look up close, you're like, wow, that's just really cool art. So we can see this is the front because this is the sort of flap of that top lid there. We have Star Wars Unlimited printed nice and bold on both sides. We also have that on the top. And I guess this is the right on panel. So I guess if you have different decks or perhaps you want to write your own name on it, if you are taking it to a meetup and you don't want to get them mixed up with somebody else, you can write on it because yes, this is a lot of black here. Uh, that's nice there. So you can identify your box. We've got all that sort of copyright stuff on the bottom because this is a officially licensed product. And then on the back, we have the TIE Fighter, which I thought was really interesting because it wasn't until I saw these in person at the store because I'd seen all these pictures online with just the X-Wing there on the front. And then when I picked up the box at the store, I could see that it also has the X, uh, sorry, the TIE Fighter on the back, which I wasn't expecting. A lot of the pictures online didn't really show, so it matches my map really quite well there. Of course, this is the back, but I think that that's really fun. You've got two different graphics there, so you don't need to choose. So let's go up and open this up. Okay, so, so you can see that hinge going all the way back there. It's got some sort of lines, so I'm expecting this to kind of perhaps soften up a little bit with time as I open this up a few more times. We can see that sort of welding there, and we have this extra box. Oh, so we can see that there is like a little built-in divider so that your cards are not going to be resting up against that token box. It also has the Star Wars Unlimited printing on it there. Looks like the internals are all just plain black except for that logo there. So looking really cool. So let's take a look at the little token box. So we've got the X-Wing on the outside, but we have the TIE Fighter on the lid of the token box with the Star Wars Unlimited logo. I love the theming across all of this. That just looks really cool with the matching game mat there. So this is made out of that same plastic as the outer box. We've got a plain back bottom here with just the game genic copyright information. And let's see. Oh, that's actually kind of stiff. Okay. So we've got like a little bit of sort of a catch point. This is uh, sort of sticking out. So that's going to catch just on the underside of that lid and kind of snap closed. That's really interesting. So we can see we've got a nice space in there to fit your game tokens, whether you're using the cardboard versions that are included with some of the game sets, like the two player and the pre-release box, or if you decide to uh, upgrade to those acrylic tokens. So that's kind of an interesting snap closed. That feels very secure. 
wonder how well that's going to wear over time but for now that feels quite nice snaps closed and then we can see if we're just gonna slip that back in here open that lid out of the way I get this in there so we should be able to fit our cards neatly in there and then that all snaps closed I like that the art looks reasonably well aligned there's a little bit of sort of like a misalignment here with the engine maybe if I push that down just perhaps a little bit more it's a little bit better but yes there will be I guess some variance with this you can kind of see I know I've gone and opened it so if I push it down it kind of looks a little bit better aligned there but over time it's going to sit a little looser so if I push that down it looks a little bit better but overall really cool it feels nice and sturdy that's going to be good for putting on my shelf to store my cards so very keen to get stuck in and take a look at the Darth Vader one oops we can get this out I don't want to rip the box I like the boxes for these as well you can tell I am a collector I don't like even ruining my Star Wars cardboard boxes that my products come in <laughs> okay so oh we've got the death star on the back of this one that looks pretty cool nice i know that there is a game mat with the death star on it so i guess this would be the game box that you would buy if you want it to match with your death star game mat that looks pretty cool so we have the star wars unlimited logo this is kind of interesting so this one's got the sort of the that blue swish underneath it which reminds me of the back of the cards if I just have one on hand you can see that sort of bling light is underneath the Star Wars Unlimited logo there and that is not on not on this one that's kind of interesting I guess they wanted for the blue coloring for this one because it's on this side here too but that Darth Vader art is really cool looks like he is storming the rebel base on Hoth with all of those snow troopers behind him that is really cool I like that and that's fun that we have well the second Death Star here which is kind of a little bit of a mix of films I guess we've got Empire Strikes Back here Return of the Jedi here very cool okay so let's take a look inside and yep same sort of thing we've got that black interior with that divider panel with the Star Wars Unlimited logo there and we have the token box which features the Death Star so along the same lines as the other one it is the back art that is featured on the token box so yes if you have the Death Star mat then this will look really cool sitting out with all of your tokens in it when you play really nice okay and we can just see oh yeah we've got an imperial shuttle here just on the side the other side is pretty much black all good there plain on the bottom also got that sort of really sort of secure snapping little hinge there hinge and sort of locking mechanism for keeping all your tokens nice and safe so that looks really good so really happy with those and they were very affordably priced for us here in New Zealand so I have my daughter's one on hand she decided to go with the plain black one because she's not sure what kind of characters or factions she is going to play but she is already kind of a little bit ahead of us and she has already started sorting her cards so I counted what she has put in here already that she has sorted and this is 141 Star Wars Unlimited cards in here so you play with not that many so you can see you've got space there for a lot now uh, forgive me if my math is a little bit off but if you opened up a full booster box of 24 packs you would have I think it is about 384 cards and this is only 141 so you're not going to fit everything from a booster box in there but you will fit quite a few enough to take to a game uh, certainly more than you would need and so if I open up her so of course she's got the plain black one no art on this but she has 
punched out her pre-release pack tokens so you can see her cardboard tokens in there and there's lots of space there for other things <laughs> so when I get up to opening up those acrylic tokens I'm gonna test them out in one of these boxes as well because I want to see how well they fit in there so yeah you can see that's a lot of cards these are unsleeved at this point she is going to get some sleeves but she just wants to sort through them first before she decides which are the ones she's going to play with which I think is sensible so yeah it feels really nice and hefty when you get that many cards in it it's got a really nice weight to it so if I pull out my packs of cards that I have from my booster box you can kind of get a sense this is all of the cards if I can grab them all off camera these are all of the cards that we got from one booster box and as you can see there is quite a lot of them here compared to just those 141 so it's going to take a few of these soft crates if you want to fit them all in but most likely you're probably going to go and sort through the ones that you're actually going to start playing with and using and then you know maybe putting them in a box or two to sort out the ones that you're really going to use because you may not want to be buying the fancy ones for the cards that you're not really going to play with but yeah I think this is a great option I do have my eye on those sort of more premium deck pods that are also available from the licensed Star Wars Unlimited accessory line by Gamegenic but here in New Zealand they are a little bit pricey so definitely gonna have to think about that one but they do look pretty cool from what I have seen online but yeah so next up let's take a look at some of the sleeves for the cards that are available so let's take a look at the officially licensed Star Wars Unlimited sleeves so there were lots to choose from but we decided to go with a little bit of a light side dark side theme for our first packs I went with the blue one so it includes 60 art sleeves and one clear sleeve because certain cards like the leaders have information and art on both sides so you don't really want to cover any of that up there are also other ones like the bases which have a token use on the back so you might want to put those ones in a clear sleeve if you want and then the other ones just have that sort of classic Star Wars Unlimited back design to it so I picked blue and my husband has the red ones for a bit more of a dark side theme to go with his Darth Vader box so there you go you can see the measurements there 66 by 92 millimeters borderless full colored printer sleeves for card size up to 64 by 90 millimeters so of course these are all by Gamegenic all that kind of information there on the back acid free no pvc iconic design from the game so there were some really cool ones some of them were sold out uh, but yeah so we've got these sort of basic ones for now i do really want to get the luke and vader ones that match the two player starter set i think those would look really cool so let's take a look at these they're looking nice that looks really cool you can just kind of make out the texture of the plastic okay so ooh, these feel really nice okay this is you know I have to admit this is my first experience with sort of printed art sleeves for card games I've only ever sort of used the clear ones oops so now I'm gonna make a little bit of space here we can see the one at the back is the clear one so I am just going to put my Emperor Palpatine leader card in it so we can see what that looks like inside the plastic that feels really nice it's got a sort of like a satin matte finish to it that feels really nice in the hand and I can read everything nicely there that feels really nice so in terms of the printed ones we can see they look kind of white on the back because that is the backing of the art there so I'm going to take this one which has the classic blue background on it and I'm going to slide that one in there so we can see we get a little bit of that white border around the card I just slip that all the way in there there we go we can see just how much sort of edge protection we have there 
but yeah I could still see that fabulous foil through the plastic doesn't diminish it in any way there so that looks great and that's got a really nice feel to it great that's really nice so I'm going to have a lot of fun going through my favorite cards and then deciding which ones are going to get the sleeve treatment there so let's take a look at the red ones while we're here because I really want to see how I know they'll pretty much be the same thing but I just want to sort of see the, the difference in that color because I think that looks really quite striking so we've got that clear one here at the bottom and we can see the red design here which looks really cool I know we still have the tiny little x-wing flying through the sky but the red looks really nice so I'm just going to pick this one from the top of the pile cunning and slide that one in there I just tuck that in just a little bit deeper and there we go so now we can see the the two art sleeves protecting our cards very nice I think that looks really cool and that feels that feels like I can really play with them now not to not damage the corners or just kind of dull I'm not sure like if you really play a lot how much the foil will last on these you know certainly haven't tested that out myself so I'm definitely keen to uh, keep them sleeved so so I can play with them and not really worry about the longevity there so that's going to be a lot of fun going through and putting those in the sleeves as you can see I've got a lot of cards and this isn't even my pre-release sets that I've got to sort through already been working on my printed out checklist to go through all my cards and try and devise decks and everything like that so let's have a look and see just how well those sleeves fit inside a box so that fits really nicely there so not even tight that's just banging on the bottom it's not too tall that fits in there really nicely because I know that the cards without sleeves fit in there well I know if they won't fit this one is currently holding 141 unsleeved cards I know that by the time you go and put sleeves on them the bulk certainly packs out because it said that it holded I think about 60 cards sleeved which is about what you need the game requires a minimum of 50 cards plus a base and a leader so holding 60 should be fine of course if you want more you can always just buy two boxes there so yeah that's going to take a little bit of time going through and putting them all into sleeves but I'm really happy with those they feel really nice in the hand so last but not least let's take a look at those acrylic game tokens and last but not least we have the premium tokens which are acrylic so I was especially really wanting to get these for myself I'm always a little bit anxious with the cardboard tokens because they just feel a little more, more like they're gonna get a little bit tattered over time with play picking them up and things like that so these are my daughter's ones she's on the fence as to whether she wants the acrylic ones she wants to see my pack first in person but yes I'll be able to compare them and see how they fit in this box once I get this pack open so these were a little bit on the pricier side these actually cost more than the game mat or the soft boxes or the sleeves so it includes a set of 55 tokens including additional tokens covering further gaming needs officially licensed product for Star Wars Unlimited premium acrylic tokens with iconic designs from the Star Wars universe and again this is from the Game Genic officially licensed line for Star Wars Unlimited official accessory so here we go on the back it has a full list of what this pack contains one initiative counter two epic action counter four shield tokens five experience tokens we've got plus one uh, five reminder tokens 22 damage counter and we can see the different versions there we've got 15 1 5 of 5 and 2 of 10 16 modifier tokens and we can see all the different assortments there so lots there to use so I'm going to just open this up and take a closer look at all of these fun little tokens okay oh look at them all just spilling out I love all these colors and they're all just a bit stuck to the plastic of the bag okay there we go get those all off 
think of it. There's all of them in there. Okay, so we can see the initiative counter is just the Star Wars Unlimited logo. Looking really nice there. They have quite a sort of a flat feel. I wasn't sure if they were going to feel like they were etched or anything like that. I can just feel the printing on it. It's just slightly raised, but that feels really nice. And we have plain back with that little copyright LFL etched there on the back. I can feel that. That is actually sort of uh, recessed there. So I'm going to go through and sort of familiarize myself with all of the different types. But for now, I'm just going to sort of pull out some of the ones that I can sort of immediately recognize. We've got some fun exclamation mark ones in purple. And we can see some of these fun plus zero, plus one, minus one, minus ones. So we've got all these cute little tokens. I'm going to have fun sorting through. Pretty sure these red ones are the damaged ones. We've got one, five, and ten. So yes, as you try to damage your opponent's base, so you're not covering the card with like 30 ones, you can sort of swap them in uh, so that you can sort of not cover everything with little cardboard tokens. That's quite a nice way to do that. They feel really nice. I like I like little objects to kind of hold. Um, like if you've played d and I like um, playing with my dice as I'm trying to make decisions and things like that. So they are a lot of fun. I must say they look a lot more orange from the back. That's kind of funny. When I held, when I held them up to my eyes, they looked a little bit more red, but on the back, they're like quite a glowy orange. So yeah, the white is um, playing with my eyes a little bit, but that's that's quite fun. So yeah, we've got plenty of those. And there's little Aurabesh, the little Star Wars font there, which I must say I'm not as good as reading straight off the bat as I know I should be. But based on the picture, I think this is the shield token, I would say, because it says there are four shield tokens. I believe these are the four shield tokens and that's a really fun little icon there with some fun Aurabesh font there and that is a really nice I like the fact that they're translucent that's really quite fun so you can still you know put them on your cards but still kind of get a little of a peek through there okay and then we have some of the other ones I'm just going to sort of hold them up we have uh, these might be the experience tokens let's see how many of these I can find are there yes these might be the experience tokens because there are five of them i believe yes so the plus one plus one they look really nice oh they feel really just i like the way that they feel in the hand the edges aren't like rough or anything they feel quite soft obviously you wouldn't want really hard edges if they're going to be something you put on your cards that's just gonna be stressful and possibly leave little scratches so I like the fact that they feel really nice and soft on those edges and that fun vibrant green very nice those are really fun to hold and then we've got so we've got these two purple ones no wait five reminder tokens that's my guess <laughs> I do apologize I know I should recognize these icons a little bit better still got to practice my game and learn all of these finer details those are really fun i like that purple it's really quite bright and the printing all looks like really nice like i'm not seeing any ones that look like really scratched or anything they look really nice i like this printing okay and then we've got big orange or oh, yellow x's those might be epic action because there are two of them or is that just yes so when you when you've used your epic action you can sort of put that and uh, sort of mark that you have used it that's really nice and then yeah then we've got all of these other little ones the modifier tokens all and all the sort of different different levels now these ones are not um, translucent. These ones are just white and black. I'll just pick up a few of them. You can see they are just flat black. We've got a minus one, minus one. And they kind of go, I like the arrows. That one's going up one, and that one's going down one. And then this one's going up zero, up one. That's really quite fun. So yeah, your 
modifier token so there's plenty there for you to use because I like the fact that the, these are just a lot more varied and sort of quite helpful compared to the if I open this one up again the cardboard ones that you get so you can see we have basically the cardboard version of the initiative token big difference there I mean pretty much the same in size but there's just something so much cooler about the acrylic version and then in here we have like I'll just pull out like a five and then we've got a five here so we can see the freebie sort of cardboard ones that you got in like the pre-release set and here is the acrylic one so much cooler very different design I think it's really quite interesting they are so different but yes I very much do really like those ones and then we can see the epic action little x now this one's a little bit more similar but yes you can see cardboard version acrylic version I'm really happy that I got these and I think I'm going to be trying to convince the rest of my family to upgrade to those acrylic tokens as well for their game because they just feel so nice and so whoops I forgot I just wanted to test the last little thing just going to quickly see how well these all fit in here as well because this is designed to hold your tokens let's see how fast I can pick these all up fun sound here isn't it okay yes because you don't want to be picking these all up off the table at your game it's definitely useful to have them all tidy in a box this looks like this holds and a full acrylic set quite nicely it's going to make your um, soft crate a little bit heavier with all of this plastic in it but there so that is one cardboard set and one acrylic token set probably wouldn't want to put too much else in there or else you're going to be fishing around in there a little bit during your game to find the token that you want but that's a really good size you can see that fits really well in there a little bit heavier now with acrylic tokens rather than cardboard but that's great of course they would design that well to fit a full set because they want you to buy all of the pieces but that's just nice to test in person oh I'm really happy so I'm just going to get this a little bit tidied up and I'll give you my final thoughts on this Star Wars Unlimited range by Game Genic so that was my release day haul of the officially licensed Star Wars Unlimited accessory range by Game Genic. I picked up the fabulous TIE Fighter Gamer Mat, the Darth Vader and X-Wing Soft Crates, the red and blue card art sleeve sets and those fabulous acrylic tokens I think these are great accessories for anyone wanting to sort of bling out their Star Wars Unlimited game take care of their products and just add a little bit more Star Wars flair to their game night of course you don't need all these extras you can add them to your collection eventually if you decide that you want to level up and of course this is just the first release of Star Wars Unlimited the first sort of wave was called a spark of rebellion featuring the original trilogy era you know where the rebellion is really growing against the empire so we're getting a lot of Darth Vader Luke Skywalker TIE fighters and x-wings you know subsequent releases are going to focus on other times within the Star Wars saga so I'm hoping that we will also see perhaps some other similarly themed accessories to go with it so I'm definitely keen to pick up as much as I can from this first release because I think it is fantastic especially I want to get that x-wing a game mat so that I can uh, play opposite my husband with his fabulous tie fighter mat and I'm probably going to pick up more of these art sleeves because I don't have enough for all of my cards so far and now that I can see just how nice they are to feel and hold and play with I definitely want some more especially those nice clear ones for the leader cards that just feels really nice so there you go I hope this has been informative and educational and just uh, perhaps just a little bit fun just to see some of these products in hand I hadn't been able to get any kind of glimpses to these products until I really got my hands on them here I had seen a couple on store shelves but getting them out of the box is a very different experience especially that game mat being able to see it in person it feels really nice
So I am happy and now I'm all set and ready to play. Just got to sort through all my cards and decide which ones are going to make my final cut for my deck so I can get them in sleeves and really get going. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing and little sort of tester feel of the accessory range for Star Wars Unlimited by Game Genic. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out our other videos where I unbox the full 24 booster box that was released on March 8th. So do check that out if you want to watch me open 24 booster packs. I also recently unboxed the pre-release pack that my husband and I got at the pre-release event locally, which included a whole bunch of fun things in that too. So do check out those videos. I've got them linked below if you're looking for more Star Wars Unlimited content. Thank you so much for watching, catch you in the next video, and as always, may the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.